Hi, first graders. Welcome back to another day of making meaning. My name is Miss Prescott, and I am one of the first grade teachers at South Shore Pre-K-8 in Rainier Beach. So this week, we have been reading the book, A Day in the Life of a Garbage Collector by Nate Lee Botiller. And in this book, we follow Rick, the garbage collector, through his day. We've also been paying close attention to the, any text features we see in here and talking about what we can learn from those text features. Now in today's lesson, we are going to be discussing some things, doing um, a little bit of reading on our own and some writing. So as we discuss things, remember you can turn and talk to someone at home in whatever language you feel comfortable in. Or when I um, ask the question, I always go like this, and you can talk to me on the screen, or you can grab a stuffy like my friend Koala Bear and turn and talk to them to share your smart thinking. All right, so this week and in the weeks before this, we have been looking at text features in nonfiction books. And we've been starting to keep a list or a chart of these text features. So we've seen things like the glossary, keywords, index, table of contents, captions, diagrams, and then in the lesson before this one, we added books and internet sites for learning more. So that was something we saw in this book that we've been reading this week. So what, let's review these different ones that we have been learning about. So what might you learn from a glossary? So remember, a glossary defines important words in the book. So in our A Day in the Life of a Garbage Collector, the glossary had words like landfill, mechanic, recycle, route, and time card. What do you know about keywords? Remember, keywords can often be found um, and defined in the glossary, and sometimes in the book, you'll find them bolded just like this to show that they are important words that you need to know to be able to understand what the book's talking about. Next up, what do you know about the index? So remember the index is a place where you can find to a topic in the book really quickly by looking at it and finding the word and the page that it's on instead of taking a bunch of time to flip through all the pages to find it. Next up, a table of contents. What might you learn from a table of contents? In a table of contents, you'll find a list of the chapter names. And often remember chapter titles can give you information about what you're gonna find out about in that chapter. So you can learn more about the different things that the book is gonna teach you. What do you know about captions? Remember, captions are groups of words that uh, give more information about a picture. So in this book, there weren't really many captions. And remember, that's okay. Not every nonfiction book has all of the things on our text features list. 
Some only have a few of these text features and some might have all of them. It just depends on the book. So remember, captions tell more about a picture. And then next on our text features list is a diagram. What might you learn from a diagram? Remember the lesson we did before today, we really focused on the diagram in this book. We looked at it and we said, okay, what can we learn from this diagram? I remember diagrams have labels that tell more about things. So a diagram can tell you about different parts of something or give you more information about a topic. Now, what do you remember about books and internet sites for learning more? That was what we looked at in our last lesson as well. And we talked about how sometimes we wonder as we're reading and when we learn about something, sometimes that brings even more questions. And sometimes our book that we're reading is not gonna answer all those questions. So what we can do is read more books or do more research about the topic. So this part of this text feature in a nonfiction book gives us some of that information already so we could go say, oh, these would be good books for us to read if we wanted to know more about garbage collectors. And this is some information for me that go to help me go onto the internet and actually search for more information. So remember throughout the year, we've been learning about what good readers do. And we've also been making a chart for that. So good readers, what good readers do. Ooh. So we've learned different things this year, like good readers make connections to their lives. They make connections between stories. They retell stories in their own words. They visualize or make pictures in their mind. We wonder about what we are reading and we make connections to information that we already know. Something else that we've been learning over the past few weeks is that good readers use text features in nonfiction books to help them locate and understand information. So we are gonna add that to our chart as well. So good readers and all of these things we've been learning to do and we do as we're reading. So good readers use text features in nonfiction books. So in today's lesson, we are gonna work on doing that independently. So we are gonna work on identifying text features in our own nonfiction books and talking about those text features with someone and then writing about them. So I'm gonna model what that looks like for you and then you are gonna go and do that independently. So for to be able to do this independently, you're gonna need a few things and I'll show you what those are. So first of all, you are gonna need a nonfiction book or books for your IDR time and to be able to do this. So I've got a book here called Fire Trucks. You are also gonna either need sticky notes if you have these at home, or you can just grab a piece of paper, like I grabbed one that I don't need anymore, and then you can fold it to make smaller pieces, just like that. Don't even need scissors and gently rip it apart and get yourself a couple pieces, or not a couple, hopefully, you know, five to six maybe, uh, pieces of paper that you can use to just stick in your book instead of using sticky notes. You are also gonna need for after the IDR time that you read on your own, um, the journal page. So if you've got the district learning packet, it's this page that says uh, first grade journal entry and for Friday, all right? So if you don't have this page, remember you can always just grab another piece of paper and write down the things that I explained to you on that piece of paper. And if you happen to have your Making Meaning student response book that looks like this, 
If you happen to have that at home at the back of your um, journal or at the back of this response book it are these journal pages. And so you could also just write your journal entry on one of these pages. All right, so to do, to work on this skill, to work on identifying text features in your own nonfiction book, you are going to start by reading for 15 to 20 minutes. So find a comfy place and sit down and get started. But make sure you also have your sticky notes or your papers with you. Because as you read, you are going to mark the text features that you find. And then as you mark them, you're not just gonna move on to the next one and race through your book. You're gonna mark them and then you're gonna sit and think about what you learn from each one of those text features. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and model that for you, what that looks like when you are doing it. So, go find your comfy spot, you'll get ready to start reading. So, Fire Trucks by Valerie Bowden. Ooh, I've opened up to this page and I see a table of contents. And now, notice it doesn't say table of contents, but it does have the word contents. And contents are something that is inside something else. So, I'm gonna take my my um, sticky note and I'm going to put a sticky note on that page to remind myself that I found a text feature. Now I'm not going to just move on to the next page because I'm trying to find all my text features really fast. Instead I'm going to take some time to look at this text feature and see what do I learn from it? What information can it help me with? All right so contents. You see these are the chapters I'll see. Introduction. What is a fire truck? Fire truck gear fire trucks in action, early fire trucks, glossary, read more, websites, index. Ooh, so I already see from this con table of contents that there are gonna be a few other text features that are on our list in this book. I see there's gonna be a glossary, I see there's gonna be a read more and website section, and an index. So there's already four more. All right, I also can tell from this table of contents that I'm gonna learn about early fire trucks. Hmm, that must mean some of the first fire trucks there ever were. That'll be interesting. And fire trucks in action, that means I must learn about what they do when they actually are putting out a fire. Cool, and what is a fire truck? Oh, I wonder if maybe there'll be a diagram in here that'll show me the different parts, like in the garbage collector book. Hmm, all right, let's get started. So now I look on this page and I see, oh, there's a caption. Here's a picture. And now this group of words is explaining this picture. It says, fire trucks zoom down the street to reach fires quickly. Ooh, and I can see it looks a little blurry in the background of this picture. So that shows that that fire truck is going fast or zooming down the street. So I'm going to put another sticky note because I found another text feature and I learned that fire trucks have to go fast. Ooh, and I see right here that there is a bold a word that is a different color and kind of bolded. So that must mean it's a key word and it's important for me to read that to understand. So I can go ahead and put a sticky note on that one. I'm going to go ahead and read that section read these pages now to see what I learn and to see how this helps me to this bold word or this keyword helps me to understand and learn more about fire trucks so it says sometimes people need help they might be hurt or they might be lost when people need help putting out a fire a fire truck might come to help them a fire truck is an emergency vehicle it is used to put out fires. Even though fire trucks are big, they can go very fast. Oh, so an emergency vehicle. That must be a different kind of vehicle than maybe the vehicle that my family drives. So that's important. Oh, I see next on this page, there's another caption. I can put another sticky note here on this page to remind me. I found text features here. Oh, and I also found a text feature there, another keyword, motors. All right. 
I want you to keep reading as you do this. I'm going to keep going just to kind of show you what this looks like right now um, because we don't have enough time for me to read this whole book to you right now, but I'm going to show you what it looks like to keep finding these different text features. So I look on this page. Oh, there's another caption up there. It says, fire trucks, bright colors help people see them coming. Oh, so people need to stay away. So I see in this picture it says, keep back. So people need to stay away from the fire truck or get out of the way so they can get to the emergency and do their job. Got another sticky note here. Hmm. All right. Now on this page, oh, it looks like there isn't more captions. This book really has a lot of captions. This one says, many fire trucks today carry ladders on top and hoses inside. Oops, so that helps me to learn that hoses and ladders are an important um, tool that firefighters are going to use. Stick my sticky note in there. All right, here's the next page. Oh, I see another caption at the bottom here. When firefighters cannot enter through doors, they use ladders. Oh, and I see the ladders are showing that these firefighters have to go in through these windows. So I've got another, oh, I ran out of sticky notes. So you know what I can do is I can use um, the pieces of paper that I um, folded up before. And so I'll just stick it in my book like that and move on to the next page. All right, and here, oh, here is the chapter title, Early Fire Trucks. There's another caption. Let's see what this caption teaches us. Firefighters in the 1860s above. Oh, so this caption goes with this picture. Now this says, a steam-powered pump truck and 1950s fire engine, right? So that caption goes with this picture. Oh, so these are old, these are fire trucks from long ago. They have really changed since our fire trucks today, right? Like they are very different. So I'll put another piece of paper to mark that text feature. Oh, and now here I see another text feature, the glossary. And there are those words that we saw throughout the book, like dispatcher, it's a person whose job is to get phone calls about emergencies and then send out rescue vehicles. An emergency, something bad that happens suddenly, such as a car accident or fire, a fire hydrant, a water pipe that sticks out of the ground, firefighters can attach a hose to it, motors and protective. Okay, and now I've got the read more section so I could read another book called Fire Engines or What's Inside a Fire Truck. That might give me more information about a, what's inside. And then some websites, ooh, Sparky the Fire Dog, that I could check out and learn even more. So I'll put another mark there and then move to the next page and that's where the index is. So remember I said that the index can also help us review what we've learned. So I can look at it and see if I remember what was in the, what it said in the book about that. So here we've got um, the word uh, sorry, emergencies. I remember we saw that on the first page, emergencies. And I remember that they said that fire trucks are available. We have them for emergencies. Yeah. All right. And I'll put my piece of paper here. So now I've finished reading. I've got all of these little sticky notes and papers in here to mark my um, text features. So now I can go ahead and write about them. So you'll need that journal entry page. And when you write in your journal about this, you are gonna write about um, a journal entry about the book you are reading. Please include the title and the text features you noticed in the book. So we don't wanna just write fire truck, diagrams, captions. That's a list. We're writing a journal entry. So we're gonna write in complete sentences. So here it says, I read the book and you can go ahead and write what book you write, or sorry, what book you read, and then by blank. And then here is where you'll put what text features you find. This book has blank and put it there. So you can use these sentence starters to help you if you'd like. 
I read the book blank by blank. This book has, and then list your text features there. So I wrote about my book and I said, I read the book Fire Trucks by Valerie Bowden. This book has a table of contents, a glossary, an index, captions, and keywords. There is also a page with other books and internet sites about fire trucks. So you're gonna go ahead and just and do what I just showed you. Grab those nonfiction books, your sticky notes, and your journal page, and read for 15 minutes. Find all of those text features that you can, and then write about it in your journal. All right, it was so much fun to do this learning with you all this week. I hope you have a great day and I will see you again next week. Bye.